Anita, hello. Sorry, hello. I, I was, I'm having back-to-back -back sessions here, so I just—I bet. <laughs> I just had to shoo out the peer advisors. Um, <laughs> and let me get to oh, where are we? Oh, here we are. Um, I'll, I'm just putting up the um, research assistantships, and at some point, I'll get into more of your information. But and again, I'm no problem. Facilitate um, and kind of rolling and monitor any chats and um, definitely want you to be the show. And I'm starting to think that Angel may be on a different link. I'm going to send her and do you, uh, Anita, do you? I can send her. I can send her. Text? Yeah. Uh. Uh, tell her <laughs> to join the that I sent today in an email to all psychology majors, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let me, I've got her on a group me. She was clever and got us, um, of course I have to find it. No, right? I know, that's just it. Right? Email or Zoom link. Because she's probably on the original link that I sent yeah. her. And that's why I was getting two links earlier. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> it's, all, it's all real. It's been very real this week. <laughs> and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> it's only Tuesday. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Well, we're getting lots of excitement, right? So that's what we do. Yeah. Okay, and I, let's see here. Oh, there's our angel. Angel knows, always knows what she's doing. And other students that are going from back-to-back -back sessions here, I appreciate that too. And Anita, do you need to share a screen or do anything like that? No, I'm probably going to be more um, fluid and hopefully angel fluid. can help me tell what i need to say <laughs> yes no no fluid yes. fluid is good and fluid is what most people have been doing um okay but a, a few have asked for yeah different things and okay. i have no accommodations so. <laughs> absolutely in fact i took a picture of our lab last week during lab meeting i forgot to, i haven't even updated it yet so oh, don't no, judge me I, yeah don't judge me potential people <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lower juggling a whole lot. I, I know, and I'm kind of, I'm like, oh my goodness, did I, did I record that last meeting or not? I'm, I'm, I'm set to, I'm supposed to be recording every, all of these meetings, but now I'm. Well, it did say it was recording, so I heard it when I came Okay, on. okay, so I am praying that that last <laughs> Yeah, we're doing, uh, just to, to students out here, we're doing um, all, all of our professional conferences are online now. And so we are, I'm running one for a, people who study groups. And the first, I was in charge of the first session and about the first plenary and about five minutes went, oh crap, and started recording. So everybody, <laughs> you can just see everybody stop and listen. This session is being recorded. Oh, right. I love that, too. The voice comes out and intervenes. You just see everybody in there. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, let me let me go ahead and get us started. Yeah, being okay. all of our time here. So I, and, and you've heard us chatting away here. So we have, um, I'm facilitating the sessions this week. And um, what, who we have this hour is Dr. Anita Blanchard and her undergraduate research assistant, Angel Rogers, and they are here to tell you about the research that they are working on and Angel and undergraduate research assistant. Um, I have kind of in the background screen here information about, just kind of some of the information about the um, signing up for an RA. Um, and, but particularly we want, uh, Dr. Blanchard and, and Angel to kind of talk about their process and also students for you to, by all means, um, drive our discussion and ask questions that are most helpful for you. All right. Yeah, go ahead. And um, you. So can I ask you to, uh, stop screen sharing and put us back on gallery view? 
because I'm going to talk about that's actually one of the the research projects that we're doing. Here, wait. Tell me. So, uh, tell me again where you want me to go. I want you to just stop screen sharing. Okay. okay? Oh, just stop screen sharing. Just yeah. stop screen sharing okay. altogether. Yes. And we've got six folks here. Okay. So, um, and if you can, if you if you're comfortable. Um, uh, putting yourself on gallery view so you can see everybody, not speaker view. And if you want to use your video, that's fine. No pressure. I understand that that can be somewhat um, intimidating, so I'm not going to ask you to do that. But I will talk to you about um, our research uh, lab. The we're the Vice Squad, virtual um, identity, community, and intentivity, which is a hard word. It is um, intentivity means feelings of groupiness. And um, what my lab studies is what makes groups feel like groups, what causes them to feel like a group, and what happens after they um, become groupy, which intuitivity is horrible. It's a word from the 50s. Some dude was trying to sound fancy. So instead of saying groupy, how groupy a group feels, he said intuitivity, which sounds just completely BS. Anywho, we are doing research right now on Zoom groups. And um, one of the things we're looking at is the importance of being in a gallery view like this and uh, seeing and being seen. And in fact, Angel is doing some research um, on co-presence and what might um, like affect people's, uh, the importance of being seen in a group. Angel, do you want to talk about that at all? I mean, it's, you don't have to, but it's an interesting study um, that she's doing. Yeah. So I just wanted to see how like, co-presence causes people to feel like they're in a group and like they're like they feel like they're part of it and they feel seen um and just like yeah. how that affects how like their feelings and I guess does that would then lead into how much effort they put into the group and how right. happy they are etc productivity we're looking at productivity commitment satisfaction and it's interesting we were doing this all face to face um, and we had a big project coming up. We're going to have people come to the lab and work together. And then um, COVID, then hashtag COVID. And uh, we realized interacting with each other that it made a difference about whether we uh, were, could be seen and whether we could see the other people. And so the folks in my lab who the first couple of times we met couldn't get their video going felt really like they were not part of the group. And um, we decided that that was worth some additional study. So we are we are doing that sort of work. And um, what's cool about uh, our lab is that I have about 25 years of online group research. <laughs> so moving from face to face to group is not really a big change. Whereas I was just discussing with a friend of mine, a colleague at University of uh, Nebraska and Omaha, she's studying creativity and they've been studying face to face groups or forever, and she just, uh, we had just had a meeting about an hour ago, she was, Anita, we're gonna have to talk to you about doing this online because it's completely different now. And um, you just can't hop online and everything is, is, is the same. I, I just submitted a, an essay for the group processes and intergroup relations on what is what is different about being online. It's, it's I mean, I, you guys know, right? I mean, it, um, it feels um, different. We're, yeah, uh, one of the things I thought was interesting is we've had this technology for about, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Did you guys know that? Yes, we've had the technology to be video conferencing um, for about 15 years, but only after the pandemic started did people start doing video chats. And I think that's because we needed to feel like we were still belonging to our important, um, our important groups. So, all right, so that's my spiel. What I'd like to do uh, with my undergrad research assistants, I like, um, I'd like, i like them for two years, but if I get somebody fancy like Angel, I'll take her for one year. Although you were also my TA, right, Angel? You were like, you were in my classes. You were yeah. in my class, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have I had you around for a little longer, but I like, um, I actually have students who are um, sophomores, um, juniors and seniors are all welcome. I really like, um, for students to do their honors thesis in my lab. Um, and we work with a variety of students, undergrads, master students, and PhD and organizational science um, folks. Um, 
just to have a, 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 a big realm. I want my students to do as much research as possible, especially my um, PhD students. I want to start mentoring them on how to mentor the undergrad students. So it's a, it's a kind of a, a big, I study additivity. I want it to feel like a group, right? You know, I want good things happening. So any questions, any thoughts or questions from folks or what else do you want me to talk about Maria Carla? Not Dr. <laughs> so I know I keep doing that to everybody too. <laughs> You can call me Anita, it's fine. Yeah. See that we're all good colleagues. <laughs> we get along pretty well. <laughs> no, I, I, I might raise up some of the issues. Um, and students, I don't mean to speak for you, so please take take charge of what I'm saying. But um, I and you were you've addressed quite a bit, but I know students have asked in the past if, if you have a particular application process. Mm, I do. In fact. So this is one of the things like, are, there, are they actually there? So <laughs> I'll send you my, um, here is, I'll put it on chat. Here is my research uh, site. And here is um, the application process is contained within that. Um, I, I, need to up, I do need to update that, right? That's what the horrible thing is. Where is the application process? Where is? It, Anita, many people are experiencing what you're experiencing. <laughs> where, where is our I, oh Lord. Uh, current projects? I thought I looked on there the other day and you had all kinds of good info, but I'm not sure that I saw. Oh, here we go. It's a, oh, here we go. Okay, here's the application. I need to make that a Google Doc, though. I'm moving everything to Google, right? So yeah, I'm in the same. Is it's it like I'm realizing how amazing uh, Google is, um, Google Drive, as opposed to everything else. So yeah. I know, and Angel, and then you know, of course, Angel's like, "Let's start a group me." I'm like, oh, "We don't need a group me." And then all of a sudden, everybody is chatting all day long on the group me. So right, what do we need? We got email. Yeah. <laughs> It's like we need the undergrads to help us stay up to speed. Right, right. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, good. And I mean, and in that, so that application, um, just maybe so you could walk us through it a little bit. Um, are there, oh, oh, I keep clicking on it and don't see it appearing here. Wait a minute. I think I've, oh, got it now. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, um, and do you ask for any other like additional writing samples or is there in or any interviewing that you're doing at this point? Uh, my grad, the, um, as part of our uh, mentoring process, I receive the applications and then I send them to our um, senior graduate students who then make recommendation, recommendations back to me. And if we need to have an interview, we will, but generally um, we are looking for folks who are interested in graduate school and um, IO psychology, yes, IO and social psychology, mm -hmm. but um, we're, we're looking for folks who, um, and research methods, yes, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I've, and thank you, that, thank you for bringing that up because a lot of students do ask, uh, do, you know, I mean, and, and no, well, it helps, you know, yeah, research methods too, and, and we were, we've been telling students, and I, I, and again, need to see if this fits with what you're thinking, but, um, Several other faculty mentioned, yeah, that you know, a student asked, "Do I need to use the information from your research methods in the lab?" And and I think a good way of uh, that we kind of came up with thinking about that was that we want you to be familiar with those mm -hmm. issues and how kind of research works, but you independently will probably not be making any decisions regarding the research. Um, oh research yeah knowledge of research methods one and two, right? So, um, yeah. yeah. I used to teach, I used to teach research methods. And so my, my whole point of this lab is bringing undergrads and graduate students into the research process. So I do, and this is, I, I feel myself moving from let's solve a problem to now I will give you a mini lecture on what this means and how this is, is you know, what decision points. And I know that they're like, you know, it's like, when your parents start talking about something that's boring. 
But um, that's the point. We, I want you to know, like, this is the decision process. This is, this is why this is controversial. Here is why we are discussing it this way. So um, I'd really rather have someone who was a sophomore and stay with me for three years and take research methods with me um, than wait till they're, you know, they're, you know, until their, their senior year. And although, you know, good students are always welcome. I put down to angel on my screen. She's, yeah, so. Um. <laughs> You're being unusually quiet for Angel. <laughs> Talking a lot, too. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> There's a lot. Cold, hot, cold, hot. But Angel, maybe maybe some questions for, for you. So students um, also ask just, like, what kind of work are you doing? And, and another, um, you know, question is, you know, they'll say, we really have never worked in the lab. I don't really have research experience. How did you end up in Dr. Blanchard's lab? And what are you doing on a regular? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I'd say regularly. I norm I just like go to the meetings, help, like I contribute to any of the questions or things that we're trying to figure out. Um, so it's nice to have several people to help kind of contribute ideas. So I mean, um, she's, she's being subtle what she I did. A couple of weeks ago, we came up with a new measure for co-presence, and it was an hour-long brain fest where we de we all brought independent uh, independently measures that we wanted to. We had the definition, we developed it, and we are now um, taking it to MTurk to validate. It was probably those sessions, which Angel and my undergrads and the grad students are all and I are all equal competitors, uh, competitors con contributors. It um, was awesome. I mean, uh, it, it was pretty. For me, it was one of the most rewarding lab experiences I have. So, Angel, don't downplay that part of what you were doing. It was good. Um, yeah, so we all like barely contribute, which is really nice to um, actually be on like a closer to an even playing field with other people and contribute on research. Um, we also help with like conducting the research. So tonight we're actually gonna be going through and seeing like what exact steps we need to take during um, data collection um, and then what to do with that data afterwards. So that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I will and you raise a good point because I, I, I've heard students across the week say, saying things like, I don't know that I like research or Dr. So-and-so wanted me in our lab, but I didn't really wanna do that. This and you know just different different thoughts like that and I'm I've been very impressed to hear and not entirely surprised to hear students that even were kind of hesitant or weren't sure or had it in their head that they weren't going to like it under realize suddenly how rewarding and exciting yes these I mean some you know, some of these tasks sound simple or or maybe over complicated and I can't get to them on the other end or whatnot but um, Anita, yeah, when you sit there with a bunch of ideas of people coming together and you're, and you're wrestling with how do we best answer this question or, do, or, or capture this definition and our thoughts and behaviors, that's where the exciting stuff of psychology comes from, that's for sure. It really is. Um, um, we've had last year, we had some, our undergrads did uh, content coding. This year we're developing research. They're probably going to be um, starting next spring. There's going to be a lot of content coding they're going to be doing. Um, so I mean, real data analysis and contributions to projects. Um, I've learned to um, kind of push out some of the responsibilities so students get a really good um, and fun. That's the fun part. Writing's the crummy part. Doing the deep research is the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. But, uh, um, I know for me personally, like, I think or research is super interesting, but, like, I hate writing papers, and so, like, I was just looking at it, and I looked super daunting that, like, you see all these, like, incredible, like, long papers that are just, like, super intricate, and that just seems scary. But um, I like being in the lab because then it like kind of stair steps you into it and makes it seem a lot more achievable. Doable, yeah, we just take it step by step. That's how we all, we all write this, a little bit at a time. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, 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 Angel, I think that's a really great point for students that, I mean, that's where you see it broken down into the most basic steps and decisions, right? I mean, it, it, research is, isn't just one big thing that suddenly happens. Uh, it's a lot of little parts kind of coordinated and coming together. So I think it does make it seem much more approachable when it's not some big long research, you know, experiment or reading or process or whatever. It's a lot of little steps and, and, and those come very, I mean, much more manageably. Students, you've been, you've been quiet. Other questions? Any the other thing? Any other questions? And I don't see anything. I have yeah, you can it. unmute or put it in the chat. Yeah, either way. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing anything in the chat. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> You've been a quiet group, but I'm, we're, we're glad to have you here. Um, yes. If there aren't any more questions, I thank you very much, Dr. Blanchard and Angel, for um, coming in and sharing about your lab and your work. And I, I'm listening to all this thing. I want to join too, because boy, this is talk about immediate. Um, I don't know, phenomena that we're all wanting to understand and deal with, right? Um, so you're doing incredibly valuable work and, and I, I love, I'm eager to keep hearing what comes from the lab. So, and Angel, you're, well, yeah, now that I'm on your honors committee, I'll, I'll be able to hear more about that. <laughs> Excellent, well, thank you guys. If you have any questions, uh, follow up with Angel or me, that would be great. Thank you all so very much.